Hello friends, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video we have seen views and URLs. So in today's video we are going to see that how we can connect our Django templates and render those in our website. Okay, so let's get started. So here I am going to create our main directory where manage.py file is located. I am going to create folder as templates. Okay. And in that I will create another folder name as main. Okay. And in main folder I am going to create blog underscore home. Home.html another file as blog underscore detail dot html and another file name as profile dot html okay cool so before starting this tutorial i would like to show you some extensions for django templating languages so here i will search for django And these both extensions are required for Django templating language. If you will not install, that is also fine. You will uh, the suggestions they will not show the suggestions for the for loop and all. If you will add this extension, then they will show you the suggestions. After installing this extension, here you need to add some changes to your settings. So copy all the lines inside the file underscore associations and go to settings and click over here to open json settings and you will find you will find file dot associations variable here and you can paste those settings inside this okay and after that you need to go again to this set, uh, extension page and you need to copy this line and paste it anywhere after doing comma at the end comma paste this here okay now after doing those settings you should be fine working with django templating language now here after i have created these uh, templates i will go to settings.py and here i will add the folder name templates okay save this after saving this close this settings.py add some data in these files so i will add h1 profile this is some uh, this is just a dummy okay dummy data h2 sorry h1 blog detail here h1 okay now go to views.py and we will remove this http response and to render our template we will use render function okay so render 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 takes two arguments first is request and another is our template name so main slash our template name is blog underscore home dot html okay now i will open my terminal and you have seen that my environment is automatically activated just because i have selected my virtual environment here okay you can do that that by clicking here okay all right now here i will write my command here i will write command to run the server python manage.py run server now press ctrl and click on the link so it will open up in your browser and you can see we have opened this now i will close my terminal sorry hide my terminal 
and I will do same thing for all these for both of these profiles both of now now I will do same thing for both these views so copy this line and paste this paste this here also and I will change the file name detail and here it will be profile okay now jump back to home.html and here I will write so a tag basically and give home I will copy this two times more I will give it detail block detail and here I will give profile now I told you that why we use I have I told you that I will give, uh, show the use of this name variable okay so that will be used in our templates so how we can use this as you will you can write here URL okay URL and here you will give the name of this URL whatever you have written I have written home so I will write you copy this here and paste it okay then I will copy this blog underscore detail and paste that paste that over here you are URL and copy this and I will paste it over here URL okay now if I go back and refresh you can see that we have got this three links. if I will click log details then I will return over here if I go back again and I will click on profile then I will be here okay let's copy this from here and paste it in other both okay now come here refresh go to blog detail come back to home go to profile come back to blog detail go to home you can jump anywhere so we can use this name variable in our template just to map our urls just to connect our links okay so this is it for today's video guys we have seen how we can connect templates to our views and in next video we are going to start designing our blog home page okay thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you in next one thank you Thank you.